everybody welcome back to my channel if you're new welcome my name is Claire I've got another unboxing for December and it is a look fantastic that's what it looks like if you're new to look fantastic and you want to learn a little bit more about the subscription then carry on watching but if you've heard it all before and you're just curious and seeing what's inside this very light subscription box this month then you will find a timestamp down below in the comments so you're free to flip forward I just realized I was showing you upside down as well there you go <laughs> So Look Fantastic is a monthly beauty subscription box that ships worldwide. The cost of the box is £15 and inside you receive six beauty treats ranging from anything beauty related and sometimes we get the odd freebie as well. If you opt for a monthly rolling subscription you can cancel any month plus they offer a 3, 6 and 12 month subscription at a reduced cost. This is my paid for, my own paid for subscription box. I am on Look Fantastic's PR list but I haven't received the PR yet so my my paid for box my personal subscription came first the reason I take out an additional subscription is because I put these up for giveaways on my YouTube channel and my Instagram channel which are both Diary of a Beauty Geek and also I give them to friends and family as little gifts and birthday presents and things like that as well I pay for a 12 month subscription so instead of paying 15 pound a month it brings it down to 13 pound a month look fantastic have given me a code which is I believe is diary BB you'll find it down in my description but that only entitles you to 10% off your first subscription if you take out a 3, 6 and 12 month subscription but if I can find some better deals out there then you will find them down below as well as links to all the other limited edition boxes they've currently got run in as well on their website so underneath this video you see show more or a downward arrow if you were to click that that'll bring up my description and everything will be listed down there so let's get on to showing you what's inside it says sprinkle this festive season and have a very merry Christmas with love from the beauty box now there's no card with this one Sometimes there is, sometimes there isn't. Or am I getting really confused? I've been with Look Fantastic. Oh my God, I've been receiving PR for the last two years, maybe two, three years. I've been a subscriber for four years. <laughs> I should know these things. Has the booklet completely stopped? Please let me know down below. I'm sure we had a booklet last month. I know sometimes they say on the website there'll be no booklet, but we'll give you a QR code so then you can look up information. I tell you what, before... I just babble on and on and on and on further. I'll have a look on their website to find out what they say. It's got the value of £61 this month. It says the festive season is upon us and what better way to kick off the party season than with the December A Moment of Magic beauty box filled with six products worth over £61 from cleansers and masks to blushes and highlighters. Find everything you need for the ultimate party prep or post-gathering pamper. Go out with a bang this year and don't miss out on this fabulous beauty box. Plus this beauty box makes the perfect gift for someone you love this Christmas so why not treat them to the gift that keeps on giving and give them a beauty box subscription today and then it tells you uh, all about the products and it's got their prices next to them okay so it doesn't mention anything about the qr code there so if you are a subscriber and you're watching this please let me know if you've received a card in here as well i know it's in here because i saw it on the website but i'll just give you a quick sneak peek first although you're not going to see much there you go <laughs> so first up we've got a glove satin sleeping mask now, if you bought any of the Look Fantastic, I think it was the Christmas gift guide boxes in the Pamper one. I'm not sure the name now. They had one of these in there. As I've already got one, I'm going to be passing this on. But yeah, it feels really nice, nice and soft. Obviously, satin feels lovely, doesn't it? But yeah, so we've got an eye mask there. And the recommended retail price is £12.99. So there's that. Next up, we've got a Star Skin VIP, the gold mask for your eye, revitalizing luxury gold foil eye masks. And there's one pair in there. And then on the back here, it tells you how to use them. And um, yeah, just apply under the eyes, leaving space between the mask and the lash line. Leave on for 10 to 15 minutes and discard. Gently pat in remaining serum and do not rinse. This video is going to be really short, isn't it? <laughs> To purchase this it would cost you nine pound so you've got an eye mask next up we've got a hollywood browser and this is a hair removal and dermaplaning tool shapes eyebrows removes peach fuzz it includes one browser and one protective pouch now i've got one of these and they are great they are great i've only just started well this year just started um removing my peach fuzz I wouldn't go near my eyebrows with this I'll be a bit nervous 
but I have got a really fluffy face <laughs> really really fluffy I used to have um I used to have I still got it polycystic ovary syndrome so I'm a little bit more hairier than the average person but I'm on medication so the hair growth has stopped which is brilliant I hardly ever shave my legs or my armpits anymore which is fantastic but even though I didn't have much hair here, I had quite a bit of hair here. <laughs> That's gone, thankfully. I've just got a few little sprouts, which I think is normal for my age anyway. So I'm not, I'm not fussed about that. But I've noticed I got a really fluffy face. More so in the sunlight. Say if I'm out vlogging holiday video or something like that. And I'm thinking, whoa, I've got a really, really fluffy face. So I started shaving it. I was really nervous at first. Thinking, what on earth is it going to be like? You know when you shave the hair on your legs, you're blunt cutting it. So when your hair comes through, it feels harsher. It's the same hair. It's not thicker, but it's just because it's got a blunt end. So I was thinking, am I going to have like a proper stubble on my face? No, it grows back exactly the same. And I've done it twice now. I think it's twice, two or three times. It grows back exactly the same. You've got to hold it at a slight angle. <laughs> You want to gouge your face oh no <laughs> so you gotta be really careful how you do it i put some oil on my face first some facial oil and i find it it's better that way it just stops it from well you can imagine dry shaving your legs oh, the irritation well yeah it's the same with your face isn't it so yeah this is a great tool and handy i suppose if you had unruly brows and you were desperate to get rid of them for a night out and you couldn't get your brows waxed or whatever then um yeah that'd be handy but i think i'll be too nervous <laughs> to go near my brows so the single browser is worth eight pound 89 98 eight pound 98 there's that next up we've got a product from elemis this is a pro collagen energizing marine cleanser and there's 30 mils here it's a nice cleanser i've received this a few times this luxurious gel cleanser helps reduce surface oils and impurities, energizing the skin for optimum performance and a youthful glow. Massage into damp skin with fingertips, add warm water to create a lather, then rinse off. So the cleanser at 30 mils is worth £9.70. Next, we've got a Ico London Spotlight Highlighter Pencil in Pearl. Now, I received this in another box recently. It could be one of the Black Friday boxes, maybe. And I didn't know it was Ico London for a while. Obviously, there's the logo there. <laughs> I didn't click. And I was thinking, oh, Spotlight. I've never heard of Spotlight before. For me, personally, I don't like it. It's quite bitty. Can you see? You might not be able to see. You can see a slight shimmer there. It'd be good for, say, applying to an eyelid and then smudged out if you want a sort of very subtle shimmery look to your eyelids. For me personally, I just think there's better ones out there. But I'd love to know your thoughts. If you've tried it, the Ico London Spotlight Highlighter Pencil, or what do you think of it? And the recommended retail price is £15, so there's that. And then lastly, we've got a Lottie London Ombre Blush in shade Haze. I've got one of these do a little bit of a swatch but I will be passing that on <laughs> I've put it on top of the shimmery pencil pinky coral sort of shade there and this blusher will cost you £5.95 so those are all the items so I'll just gather them all up and do a bit of a recap we've got an Elemis Pro Collagen Marine Cleanser We've got a glove satin sleeping mask. We've got a star skin VIP eye patches. We've got a Hollywood browser, a facial razor. We've got an Ico London spotlight highlighting pencil. And lastly, we've got a Lottie London ombre blusher in shade haze. Now looking at the products and the theme, I think they're well put together. We've got the Hollywood browser, we've got the under eye masks, and then we've got two makeup products, and then we've got a cleanser and a sleeping mask. So all in all, I do think that all the products are put together really nicely. But for me personally, there's a lot of products here we've seen before. There seems to be a lot of cross 
crossover with these products that have been in recent limited edition boxes. If you are a Beauty Box subscriber and you took advantage of the Black Friday sales and bought lots of different limited edition boxes which were brilliant, there was really good offers on, then you might find that you might have a few of the products repeated in this box which is a shame because it'd be nice to have something completely different than what we've already had. But bearing in mind, Look Fantastic is not the only box that I receive and my brain is like a flipping sieve. I can't remember in detail what I've received in what box. So there's a lot of crossovers there. It's just for me personally, it seems to be quite a few crossovers with the products. I think more so this one definitely would look fantastic because we've had it in, I think, the gorgeous Christmas chest. This was in there and in one of the Christmas gift boxes as well. This was in there. I think so. I think so. But I love the Hollywood browser. I don't think we've ever had that in a box before. But I'd love to hear your thoughts. What do you think of this box? And also, did you get a booklet as well? Please let me know down below in the comments. Or if you're watching this for the first time, wondering if this box is for you, I'd love to hear what you think. So please comment down below. But I hope you enjoyed watching and I'll speak to you all soon. Take care. Bye.